So guys, welcome back to part 3 of how to make a login page using JavaScript. Now we're just going to do some styling in a way. We're just going to make a nice little style for our login forms and so on. So currently you could see them as, actually you probably still see the browser, um, and you shouldn't be able to see the browser, but currently you see it as this. So uh, I don't know what you think, but uh, it doesn't look too nice, does it? I don't know, I don't know. It looks brutal. Anyway. So and there's a bit of HTML we need to fix over here, but that's that's no big deal to be honest. So we're just gonna remove this. And we're going uh to style them. So we just I just wanna remove this. Let me just save this. Um okay, I am not gonna purchase this. Anyway. Um So first we put I have a nice little design already in my head, sorta. I have a few notes over here too, just to some tags that I need to remember. So first, we're going to say star, and we're going, you know, use the syntax for the CSS. So if any of you don't know what the star means, it just means that it applies it applies all the rules to uh, all tags and elements. So that's just really simple, kind of thing to note. So we're just going to say center. I want everything to be centered, and I'll say padding. Um, let's try with five pixels at the moment. Yeah, five pixels. Okay. So now we have to start our little allies. So that's where um, I think where we we'll put our um, bars and names and whatever else. We we'll put our names and bars over there. Anyway, doesn't really matter. So we're going to say um, list. Oh geez, what happened there? List um, style type to none. We're going to say text align to uh, center again. You're going to say padding bottom around 5%. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to um, play around with is the input. So the input, so we're going to say input and we're going to say we're going to say uh, background. I want to have a kind of orangey sort of a color and black sort of a color. So I'm going to say background um, color. Oh Jesus! Um, yeah, that's how you spell color. Well, American way. But anyway, um, I'm going to say tree, tree, tree. Okay. So that's done there. We're going to say border, and we'll have all the borders removed. So we're just going to say none on all sides, on all four sides. So I'm just going to say none. Okay, that's done there. I'm going to say, I'm going to say border radius. Border radius allows us to um, just have this kind of um, sort of rounded corners. So we're just going to say two px, no, two pixels. You could have more if you, you could you could have more if you want. Text align. I'm going to say left. This just uh, if we say right, the text will go from right to left. It's color, and we're going to say white. Now this is just going to indicate what color the text is. So inside the input fields basically, you know, the password fields and the um, text field type, um, you know, input type text. Okay, so the next thing is our header, you know, because we remember the header we put in, I think we said, actually let's check what did we say. We said log into YouTube, so we're just going to say um, header, oh, not header but head, h1, whatever. Um, font family, which is actually going to make a little font family. Why not? You don't have to use it. So, um, well, we're just going to force some fonts. I'm going to say color. Um, color, color. Let's let's just say red. Actually, I didn't. I don't have any color for my um thing, so I don't. I kind of uh, actually let's just use this. This is called of a orange color. So F zero seven. Three, three, four. I think it's an orange color. So I, I didn't actually on my notes over here. I didn't actually write it down what color it is. So sort of guessing. Um, okay. So next thing we need to edit is the container itself. So the whole where the whole everything is you know being stored basically. So so we'll just write in um, full stop container. So container. Oh, that is not spelled right. That is not spelled container. Okay. So and now, now this is going to be a long one because there's actually a lot of things to um 
to type down. I do have a few notes over here. There's a few WebKit um, um, box shadow, shadows and so on in here. So I do have actually these some of these things that are really lengthy, lengthy, and really um, lengthy. Yeah, that's a word. Yeah, it is a word. Anyway, um, written down on my notes just because um makes things a little bit easier I can't remember all of these now so uh, I did play around with these just before um, making this video because um, I just needed to sh make sure those um, um, those things work the ones that I'm going to use now so we just okay so we're gonna have border around the whole thing and we're gonna say solid because we do want a solid um, border and we're gonna have it like an same color as um I think it's an orange color it should be an orange color so that's an orange color around it anyway we're gonna have a width of around twenty four percent. Let's just say twenty four percent. Um text align center, so margin we're gonna say out of. We're just gonna say out of so okay. What else? We obviously want, you know, a nice little kind of um that style border radius radius we want to kind of you know nice and cornered nicely rounded whatever background color we'll just um, go with um, black no not black no white white because black wouldn't really suit the dark color dark gray color of them um, the fields input fields so we don't want we don't want any um, issues. We're gonna say padding. Oh jeez, what's going on? Padding, and we're gonna say bottom, bottom, and ten pixels. Let's just say ten pixels. We'll see how it will turn on. It should should turn out pretty okay. So okay, now this is going to be a bit complicated. I have to look at my notes over here because if I don't look at my notes, I kind of um, will forget about all of this. But so we write in WebKit box shadow, shadow, okay. Now, three pixels, zero pixels, z ten pixels, zero pixels, and it's going to be obviously you know we want the shadows to be black. Okay, so I'm going get a bit lazy. I'm just I'm just going to be a bit lazy, but uh, you know, copy and paste tool is your best friend, so you might as well use it. It's there for a reason. So instead of this, now we have to write in this. So. Uh, I could have actually been a bit more lazy. I'd be more lazy. I know, I know. So, this. Okay, that, that's done. That was easy. And now, next thing, we just do this. So, okay. So, that's all done. And I just hit my headset accidentally. Okay. Okay. Um. What's next? What should we do next? Style the submit button because the submit button at the moment, as you could see, actually let's just reload. Um, let's just reload the Firefox page, so you should be able to see. Hopefully, you can see it. Yeah, okay, you can see it. So you could see, you know, we have a nice little shadow going on here. You know, we have, you know, it's it's looking nice. It's in all fairness, it's looking nice. We have a login page and um, button over here, but it's it's just a button and it's just nothing fancy about it really. So we're gonna make it, we're gonna style it really nicely. We're gonna um, have some transition, so it's it's actually gonna be a bit moving around. So we're gonna use a bit of CSS, a bit of nice, kind of a bit more advanced CSS if you want to call it like that. It's not so advanced, but it is nice. But anyway, so let's remove that and get back into the code. So next thing we need to do is um. The submit button. Okay, submit. I think I called it submit, did I? I think, yeah, I think it was, the class was called submit. Anyway. So, we want the background. So, at the moment, the background is the color of, um, color of the, of the fields and whatever else, you know, the kind of dark gray. So, we're going to make it transparent. That's the first thing we're going to do. We're just going to make it transparent. Next, the color will be black. Okay, 
So, um, in the borders, let's see, border, uh, yeah, border radius, and uh, no, not border, no, 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 what, what am I doing? What am I doing? Why do I need that? Why am I making the things? Um, what did I want to do? My mind is gone, my mind is gone. You could use border radius actually, it would look nice, but um, I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to say border, one pixel, solid, and we're going to say black. Okay, so that was simple. So I'm going to say width, we're going to say around 50%, should be okay. We're going to say font, and font family, yeah whatever, let's just put it in, it doesn't have to be put it in, but you know, you want to maybe have a custom font for the sign in page, whatever, or sign in button. So I'm going to say font size, so font size, and we're going to say around, ooh, I don't know, 18 pixels, let's say, you'll see how big it is, maybe 20 would be a bit better, but anyway. And now transition, so, um, I thought it would come up, but it didn't transition, so, um, transition, we say around, hmm, and zero point point nine seconds so should work hopefully and then with text align I would just say everything's center so that's that I'm just going to check this on a browser and see how will it look okay okay so I'm just going to show it here guys so that's how it looks so <laughs> it's a bit different Um. So let's continue on. So now we just want um, some styling when it comes to um, when it comes to um, when your mouse goes um, over over the button. So let me just move this down. So we're going to say submit submit dot hover hover hover. Um, so when we um, when the mouse goes over the we're gonna say actually we're just gonna use the same color. Why not? So just use that color. Okay. So that when the mouse when your mouse is over the button, it will change color and whatever else. Um let's see yeah, let's just say black. Let's say border. No radius, just border, no border, okay. Border. Uh, one pixel, solid again, and black again. So, okay. Font family. You do want to maybe in you know say say a font family because we did indicate a font family. So you know you don't want you know when the button when you uh, when your mouse goes over the button the font just suddenly changes. You don't want that for obvious reasons. We're gonna change the font size though. So we're gonna change the font size to. 12, I want to say 15, well I say 12, might be a bit too small. Okay, I think we're done with this. Next thing is um, that password. Um, and the, the username. Okay. So we're going to say width. And we're gonna say fifty percent. So fifty percent. That's that's pretty much it. Um so I'm just gonna show it. Should be showing to you. Yeah, okay. You could see it. So intro Ah, okay, 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 okay. I was like thinking, why is it not working? So now you could see it's a bit different. When you click on the button, actually the button slides in a little bit. So it's actually quite nice. And the uh, you know the container moves with it. So it's quite nice. Now there's one little problem with this though. There's one little problem, and um, that problem really is that we didn't actually indicate a body a body color. There's no body color. Color. My English is going after you to the to the bottom over here. Anyway, so um, background. And you get kind of tired actually talking so long. You keep talking, keep talking, and your mouth kind of gets a bit dried up there. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay, so. Now it should look like um like a masterpiece. So uh Yeah, okay. So um the colour looks a bit odd though. But you could obviously see that, you know, that's how it looks now. So um yeah, and uh, it does work, so you know 
username password wrong okay so let's say Vlad and let's say one two three four five boom that's it should bring us to giggle but doesn't because the code is a bit broken but um it works so guys thank you for watching please do like and subscribe because this was a kind of a long little um project if you want to call it like that so it did take a bit of time and uh do show your support do drop a like or a dislike maybe a dislike this maybe it was maybe the video was a bit too long calm down or anything like that if it was a bit too long sorry about that i'll try to do improve and so on so uh thanks for watching and i'll see you next time guys